Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance where we continue on with our silly quest to try and level up five characters to level 20 on the final map here where we aim to defeat of course way 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 higher up Ashnard with his gurgle and sword waiting to fight us a mighty sword that only Ashnard King of Dane can wield with a two range as well but apart from that we're looking to start breaking through and to do that, to start off with, we may as well take down a dragon, shouldn't we? So with Ragnell then humming over, that'll give us a little bit more of that extra battle experience. To put Ike closer to that level 20 without getting him a kill. Then apart from that, Oscar is ready to go in with the Lagoo's Lance here. And make sure everything's set up for him to get another KO kill. Especially if he's going to restore his HP while well, he does it. We'll take a big hit back. We're okay with that. One hit there will do. And so another big boost to experience there. The dragons give a fair amount, that's for sure. So we will simply wait here for the time being. With him on low HP, we're going to move Sorin to... Well, I don't think this guy can really move all that far as a whole. His overall movement is... 6, so he's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6-ish, and then he can fire over at range here. So we take him off. All that we really need to do is just move a little bit this way, and everything should be fine. If we cast a Physic here on Oscar, just to top him fully up, That'll give Soren 22 extra experience, so healing is another way of getting that lovely experience for him. Apart from that, we've got Mia over here fighting two foes at once. So we'll start off by taking out the first one. Of course, we want to know that she can take out the guy here with the silver axe when he comes as well. Will the Goose Slayer be able to do that? No. So we're going to have to use the Master Sword then to get the killing blow, I think. So, we can't be killed by this Lagoo, so let's use Master Sword to get a double hitter here. Especially if we get a critical there, we're going to be perfectly fine. And so Mia gets closer to another level. Right, so at the moment her and Rolf are probably doing best for it, though Rolf is harder to kind of level up in that regard. So what we'll do is we'll come over just a little bit. Get that physic cast again. Make sure Mia's topped up for war. And then we can keep moving onwards. Come back a little bit, Alincia. As we now switch to the other side where Rolf has... Well, between Rolf and Miss, they have two enemies to take down. Right, so who's best for taking out who? Of course, the Sonic Sword here looks like it can definitely take down the Berserker foe. Not so much the Lagoos, so we've got ourselves our choices there. Let's move up a little bit here, Rolf. And see about casting the Rolf Cannon over. No, the Rolf Cannon won't do it in two. In fact, the double bow's out of range. Or do I have to be at even more maximum range to be able to actually use the double bow here? Indeed, that is the case. So you have to be at specifically for range. You can't use it between that. No, you can use it there, you just can't use it within two range. By the look of it, which is a bit weird, a bit weird considering the longbow can be used. So we'll use the brave bow to ping over as many shots as humanly possible with the critical chance that he has. Or two shots, as the case may be. Multiplying extra hits with his crit chance is one very good way to see a level up, I think. Level 17 now for Rolf with the major stats being gained. Oh wait, it's probably because he's capped three of them that he's not really gaining anything at this point in time. Right then, missed. Time to get you onwards and upwards. It seems that our major breakthrough will be on the right-hand side in terms of actually advancing. So with the Sonic Sword ours to use, let's use it. You can't hit me back. So it's just a matter of casting twice. And keep on going.
The advance truly continues. We still want to use the Ashera staff yet and see what that does. If it's a very powerful staff, it might give very powerful experience on top of that. Range is total after all. Well, we want to cast Physic on certain people to just kind of get their stuff up. Right. You're going to be healed probably next by Mist as Rolf then moves forward and sees if he can pull some of these foes. A Silver Lance, a Silver Sword, no ranged weaponry, which is a shame because to be honest I'd like to pull some ranged hits at the moment. So may as well just keep moving upwards. This squad are working out well, but they had Rolf and Mist together. It wasn't going to go badly, was it? Right, so what do we do with these guys? Well, we just keep them following, I guess. Because we are trying to do this with just a couple of people, really. And then we've got the guys that can come this way, but for the time being, I don't think Jill's that needed nearby. We'll keep her nearby anyway, and then we'll move Neff and Volk up a little bit. Just to see if Mia needs any backup, when she doesn't really. And so Bryce moves again. Seems like he's on full-on retreat at the moment. But wouldn't you be? Which leaves a dragon for Oscar. Lagoo's lance in hand. If we're lucky and we get some criticals here, we might see a KO. But I very much doubt it. This time, however, we've chosen to dodge. And it seems the overall speed of the beast is enough to stop us really getting there. Of course you're going to go into the bush. Well, we're not critically back. We will dodge. Matching her clothes, Mia levels up. Not matching her clothes, that's why she levels up, but... More the fact that her sword matches her clothes, but still. That's like the orange tint that it seems to have. Right, Rolf might be able to get in range to take one of those guys down this turn, which is always a good thing. But first of all, we've got ourselves a dragon to deal with. So yet again, will Ragnell shine through? How are we going to be dealing with this one? Right, what I might do is I might move up a little bit here. And Ragnell from this direction. We don't want to KO with Ike, that's the funny thing. We might get a crit, you never know. For Ike reaches level 20. 1 HP. Of course, he's capped most of his things, so of course he isn't going to get so much either. Right, so we've got the choice of either going with a Tornado and the Elwind here, which can double. Oscar doesn't seem to be able to double the dragon. And with nothing else being able to go through, that's why we've come through this far, so we can push this line. So the Oscar Lance... Wow, everyone's doing uh, quite well at being able to resist being got by Oscar, really. Right, the Oscar Lance there could do 27 damage. Just may as well go with a straight Silver Lance here with a Silver Blade against me. Can't do so much damage. Well, you managed to proc an extra attack, but you can't fool us, you can't get us. So let's just move back one, make it a full-on block there. And then we look at the overall range of you, sir, to decide that Soren should be standing here and L-winding down this dragon rather than Tornado. Nice L-wind will be fine, thank you. As Bryce still stands, giving us a lot more combat experience to get hold of. Now, meanwhile, now that Ike has actually leveled up to full, we need to not use him at all for a while. It's wasted experience if he deals damage to people, but the Sorin levels up. Can we really make the magic happen? Well, we definitely gained some magic there and some defense, luck, speed, skill. That's a quite nice level up, sir. Well, I think he just captain skills, so that's not bad at all. Right, let's move out a little bit. Well, let's move out to here. I don't think either way that Mister can reach, so we're looking good for the next turn on that front. 
However, now we're looking to pull another dragon towards us and fight with Mia. That might be a little bit harder than we would have would really expect. So let's go with the Lagoo Slayer here. The lures can happen after all. And then push with back up over this way. Maybe Neff can get in on the dragon and deal a little bit of damage to help Mia out. So there goes forward our squad over there. Over here, we can get Rolf in to do some attack. So let's get Rolf first of all with the Brave Bow Rolf Cannon. Let's go back to the Rolf Cannon then. Silver Lance or Silver Sword, I don't know who I want to take care of most. But let's retreat the other guys back so we basically attack Rolf next time. A double attack with the Rolf Cannon. No reply. Of course can't anyway because it's too far away. When will we actually defeat Bryce? That's the real question here. So we check the overall range for you. What we'll do is we will move everyone back a little bit. Rolf's got that all to himself there. Mist can get in. A close range physic will be fine, I think. That's 22 more experience there. And then move you back, sir. The seer is like, I never get to do anything. That's well, because we want everyone to attack Rolf. We want the experience going to certain places. It feels like a more fun way to play on a limited amount of characters. And Bryce moves back to battle. Jill's there just to keep guard. We know that Oscar's not likely to be able to take this guy down. Straight off the bat. Oh no, if we use the Oscar Lance, he probably would have been. Which means that Ike's going to get attacked. No, we don't want Ike getting more experience. Ike, now's your chance to miss. Our first wasted kill. What I should have done is I shouldn't have put them right next to each other and I should have moved him up one square so they were staggered. So it could have been attacked by two people. That was a bit of a misstep, wasn't it now? Right, so in comes the dragon. You're going to go back up. Ah, you, eh? So it's time for us to move again. Ike still needs a bit of healing, so there's a bit of experience to be grabbed there. In the meantime, we'll check what this sword master's kind of range is, because Rolf's just going up. So the Rolf cannon again, or should I like move as far as I can and then see what the double bow does damage-wise? Not enough to take a one-hit KO, so or one round KO for definite. The Brave Bow, the Rolf Cannon. Critical time! Save your charges, sir! Or don't. Then prop Vantage, it's fine. Or, ugh, I'll never get that skill right. And so another foe falls. Rolf getting closer to level 18 there. Right, so we have the chance to heal no one over here, if I'm right in saying. I do wonder if Mist can possibly cast a Physic all the way over to Ike from here, which she can. Not enough to level up though. Right, so. Now the overall damage this guy will do is quite a bit to Sorin, but Sorin can survive it. Now, here's how we go about doing things. Jill. The killer axe won't even barely hit. So we're either doing this by a long range Ragnell to break him down a bit. So Soren can get the KO. Or not. So here we go. We fight again without checking if we can recruit, but to be honest, I don't think Bryce is someone that will cross lines. 
But as you see, it didn't work out so well for us. So we move all the way round to the other side here. Tornado times two will do it. Elwyn times two will do it as well. It's just taking that 30 damage and the minuscule crit chance that might happen. Well, in the meantime, we also need to defend from this guy. So the Oscar Lance times two can take him down. It's pretty much all up to Soren, really, how this goes. So if I attack from there, I get some extra damage. Don't get crit is basically the key here. Oh, we definitely won't now. Sorry about this, Bryce. Hey, wait a second. We should have got to attack again, shouldn't we? My strength was not enough. I could not protect my homeland. Forgive me, Dayan. So Bryce falls to give Soren a large chunk of experience. And a speed wing as well. Right, who could we get that on to to help them out? I don't know. Right, apart from that, it's time for Oscar to continue on his leveling up journey. So, Oscar Lance from there. And gets critical as well. So whenever level up for him brings him to level 15. No stats gained. Going to be seeing a lot of that, I'm sure. Right, so we've got a nightly crew and a half coming this way. But hopefully Oscar should be able to survive that, especially with Oscar Lance in hand. Come on. Right, we've got Shine Priest, Silence and Physic over there, which we probably need to go towards to take out. I can get healed if we want to, but maybe we'll use another physic from certain someone to do that. In the meantime, we have Critical Lagoon Slayer. Yes, this is going to be the problem for us, really. This dragon. So, we have ourselves the Fenetrator, which will do a fair bit of damage, that's for sure. Can we get up? No, we can't. How much does the Master Sword do versus him? So 10 as well. Same as the Lagoon Slayer. Killing Edge barely does any, however. We could hope for a critical to take down a fair whack of HP, after all. I think it's probably better to just retreat out of range and let an attack go go. So this is, this is Shine here. Yes, it is probably better to do that. Master Sword is the better hit chance, so what we'll do is we'll move... Block that, see where you can go, move to there. Wait, see the overall range he can move to here. Let Mia take a go. So as we can see, the space the dragon moves keeps changing, but we are okay from there. So the dragon's going to attack Mia. We've got Oscar probably coming under heavy attack soon, and then roll far up. And now all the troops come in. What are you going to cast? You dared, and it worked. So Oscar can no longer attack back. Now still bow isn't going to do too much damage to me. This makes Oscar's experience getting trip a bit rubbish. Unless someone walks right up to his face and then Soren attacks, but then there's certain people, they all have bows, so, you know, they could all attack Soren, really. Now you get to double by virtue of having a brave bow. Maybe Soren could just use this as a healing experience trip here. But this is what I expected to happen with the dragon. Of course, he'd get in on the hidden terrain. We may attack first, but it's the dragon that's the more worrying attack. Right, you did choose to critical. That's brilliant. Weapon leveled up as well. Which means you can now use the Vague Kati. 
If only I can get it over to her. No reply. Means that pretty much someone's going to be stuck there healing for a while. But I guess that's what experience farming is. So a physic goes over. As Oscar sleeps for a fair few turns, it seems, Soren levels up. Hopefully, this could probably be, considering the time he's going to be sleeping, maybe nearly a whole more another level for Soren, if you think about it. So I can't really say it's a bad thing as Mag caps out. So that's kind of good. We're going to be using some healing to get some experience by the look of it, as Mist can then just pop over and also get some healing to, you know, top up certain someone. Or we could do Soren if you wanted. Yeah, do Soren. So that's another level for Mist. Not a problemo. 18 for Mist there with skill, luck, and defense. Any extra defense is fine by me. And so we continue onwards next turn. We've got Mia at level 16 now. We've got Oscar 15, but asleep. Soren level 16. Ike's capped out, Mist is at 18, and Rolf is at 17. Can we get there? We gotta, like, work on these mathematical equations, trying to make them work next time on Path of Radiance. Bye-bye.